Welcome to Living in the Sacramento Suburbs, where we give you all the 411 on living in the Sacramento region. Today, we are exploring one of the most affluent and exquisite communities here in the Sacramento region. Welcome to Granite Bay. Granite Bay is located in Placer County, just 25 miles from Sacramento. It has a population of just around 22,000 people. It's a highly desirable community known for its luxurious housing, excellent schools, and beautiful natural surroundings. Today, we're gonna cover everything you need to know about this affluent suburb, from the lifestyle, the housing, different neighborhoods, shopping, amenities, recreation, and so much more. And make sure you stay tuned into the end of the video because we're gonna be giving you our top three pros and cons of living in Granite Bay. Let's get into it. As we said, Granite Bay is one of the most exquisite suburbs in Sacramento. Up until recently, there hasn't been any new construction as most of the land here has already been developed or deemed nature preserved. Let's explore some of these top neighborhoods here in Granite Bay. Let's start out with Tree Lake Village, one of the more established communities that's gated, has mature uh, trees all around it, great schools, parks, and so much more. This community was built in the early 90s all the way through to the early 2000s, and it has homes spanning from 2,100 square feet all the way up to almost 5,000 square feet, many being three to six bedrooms with two to five baths. One of the unique features of this community are the man-made lakes. Now, you can find homes priced between 800K to $1.6 million in this neighborhood, with the median sales price just over $1 million. Now, the caveat to this neighborhood is gonna be based on the age, some of these homes are going to need updating. And if they have been remodeled, they're going to be on the higher end of the price range. Now, the HOAs are fairly reasonable at only about $64 a month currently. The Los Lagos community started being built in the late 80s and the majority of the building stopped in 2006. This is a gated community with luxury homes, manicured landscapes, and a private field. This community dates back to 1988 and has continued to develop over the years. This community has homes that range from 3,200 square feet all the way to massive 7,800 square foot homes, three to seven bedrooms, and three to eight bathrooms, with lots that go all the way up to three acres. You can find homes currently priced from two to four million. The HOAs in this community are about $275 a month because it does have a guard sitting at its front gates. This community also has some homes that offer amazing views overlooking Folsom Lake. Even though the Los Lagos community is pretty much built out, you can still find some empty lots within this community that are ready to build on. And then down the road, we have Shelbourne Estates. This is going to get you a little bit more land with your lots up to maybe one acre, along with some pretty large homes. They're priced right around that 1 million mark, all the way up to maybe two plus million. And again, you can find some large homes up to 7,000 square feet. These were built in the 1980s. So again, similar to Tree Lake, you may find homes that need updating, or if they're fully remodeled, they're probably gonna command the higher price point. The HOA in this community is $96 a month. And one of the things I like best about this community is that some of the homes do back up to Miner's Ravine with beautiful views. Next up on our list is the community of Douglas Ranch. Now this is a newer development compared to the last three previous mentioned. These homes were built in the early 2000s with modern homes and amenities appealing to those seeking contemporary living. These homes range anywhere from four to 5,000 square feet, four to five beds, three to six bathrooms, and they're currently priced from 1.5 to $2 million. The medium sales price is around 1.7 million. And the HOAs for this community are about $177 a month. Now, we're gonna move on to some amazing new home communities, but before we do, I wanna to touch on one of the most important factors that most families are looking for when they choose Granite Bay as their home. And that's 
education. So when it comes to schools, I wanna to talk to you about this because this is actually where I grew up going to school. Granite Bay is known for its top rated schools. Starting from elementary school, you have the Eureka Union School District. What's really unique about this school district compared to the surrounding areas is going to be that it separates its elementary school grades. It's gonna go K through third grade at one campus and then fourth through sixth grade at another campus. They are known and have distinguished schools with some of the top rated schools being Green Hills Elementary. And then when we move on to junior high, which is seventh and eighth grade, again, a difference compared to surrounding school districts that have middle schools with sixth through eighth grade. One of their top rated middle schools is gonna be Cabot Stallman Junior High, which is again, where I went. It's beautiful, it's right back here by the lake. The kids run their mile and you go across the, the top of the dam and get to see the lake. So it's a really great experience. And then topping the list is going to be Granite Bay High School. This prestigious high school has amazing ratings as you can see here on the California Schools dashboard. It comes in far above the state standards. They also have amazing AP programs as well as sports programs. I graduated here in the year 2000. We started the school and they have continued for the last couple decades to build an incredible reputation that brings people to the Granite Bay area. In addition to these schools, parts of Granite Bay are also served by the Del Oro High School. As you get into that Los Lagos community and some of the rural areas, they are gonna be zoned to another amazing top rated school that we've talked about when we feature homes in Rockland and the Loomis area. So again, a major factor on why people are moving to Granite Bay is its top rated schools. So as we mentioned, most of Granite Bay is developed. However, there is new construction here in the city. Some of the most notable new construction is gonna be Whitehawk by Anthem Properties. Now this is a gated community comprised of all single story homes, ranging from 2,700 to 3,700 square feet, three to five bedrooms, two to four garages, starting in the low million dollar range. It has chef inspired kitchens, California rooms, and a private manicured park. These plans will offer suite options for multi-generational families, flex rooms for evolving work from home lifestyles, and California rooms for indoor and outdoor living. Now we've already showcased these model homes, so make sure you check out the tour of that community right here. Next up is probably one of my favorite new home communities in Granite Bay. Now this one offers you something extremely unique in a new home, and those are one acre lots with homes up to 5,000 square feet. They are extremely modern. They have many garages. Uh, they have all the upgrades you could desire. These are gonna start in the low two millions. But with some spec, doing a backyard, I would expect to be in that $3 million mark. What I also really love about this is the location of the community. It's gonna get you right at the beginning border of Granite Bay, making it more convenient to access all the Roseville amenities, especially if you are like several of our clients have been physicians working at the hospitals. This puts you a lot closer to the hospitals than say if you live deeper into Granite Bay in like that Los Lagos area where you would get homes of this size. Danny also did an amazing video on this community and their models, so go ahead and check that out here if you're interested in seeing those. Another amazing new community is gonna be the park at Granite Bay by Woodside Homes. This is a gated community that has a total of four floor plans that range from 2,600 square feet to almost 4,000 square feet with three to five bedrooms, two and a half to five and a half bathrooms, three car garage, dedicated office spaces with single and two-story options. The base price for these homes start at 1.1 million and go all the way up to 1.5 million before any upgrades. Now, I would say that these are gonna be kind of your more standard lot compared to the prior two communities we showed you, but they are gonna get you in at a much more affordable price point. Now, we have a couple more options when it comes to new homes in Granite Bay. A little bit more affordable if you're looking for maybe right at that million mark or a little bit below we have some options as low as in those 800s so you'll want to reach out to us so we can share more information with you 
If you guys want to learn more about these communities, please make sure to give us a call or text at the number below, or you can go ahead and schedule your discovery call by scanning the QR code popping up now. This is where we're gonna hop on a Zoom call and better understand your family's needs and help you navigate how to properly relocate to the area, reducing a lot of the stress. We're gonna find out what's your job situation? Do you need to sell your home? What type of home are you looking for? And then we do all the work for you. We go out and figure out which one of these communities is going to have available options in both your budget, your desired time frame, your school boundaries that you want, everything that you desire, we're going to help you navigate. And better yet, the builders pay us to represent you. You just have to have us on the first visit. So make sure you book that call. Don't be afraid. We don't bite. We are here to help you navigate your home journey. Now in terms of the shopping, because Granite Bay is going to be a smaller city in comparison to some of the other surrounding cities like Folsom or Roseville, you're not going to have as much shopping. However, you still do have all of the essential shopping that you need. So right here at Sierra College in Douglas, you're going to have the Sierra Oaks Center as well as the Renaissance Creek Shopping Center. You have a Safeway, Home Goods, Walgreens, Barbershop, tons of restaurants, and one of our personal favorites, Mario's Early Toast for some great brunch. There are also many other businesses around this intersection like U.S. Cryotherapy and many dermatology businesses. Heading down Douglas Boulevard, you also have the Quarry Ponds Town Center. One of the most notable places here in this town center is going to be Hawks, which provides a romantic fine dining experience. In fact, this is a restaurant where we actually had one of our anniversary dinners at. At the next main intersection of Douglas and Auburn Folsom, you're gonna have the Country Gate and Granite Bay Village Shopping Center that has a Rayleigh's, CVS, Dutch Bros, Starbucks, Ace Hardware, and many other eateries and shops. And if you head west down the Douglas Shopping Corridor to Roseville, you're gonna find a Target, TJ Maxx, and many more local boutiques and restaurants. And you're also just a short drive to the Roseville Galleria as well as the fountains. We're here at Granite Bay Beach where you can find people lounging every day of the week, especially during the summertime. You have so much recreation here at Folsom Lake. You can find people boating, hiking, or even riding a horse right on by us. There's so much to do here. People come out here paddle boarding all the time. We're right here by the snack shop that has, you can rent kayaks and blow up your water toys. Just go out, float, sit by the lake. And then there's the dock and several access points to launch your boat. So people are out here jet skiing and boating pretty much every day, especially during the summer months. Now, we also have other things within the Granite Bay region like Miner's Ravine Trail. So you don't have to come all the way out to Folsom Lake. Sometimes you might be on the other side of Granite Bay where we have some amazing trails surrounded by oaks that is just gorgeous to walk through for say your evening walk with the dog. In addition to the nature and recreation that we have, we also have a lot of luxury gyms where we have lifetime fitness. If you wanna play pickleball, tennis, anything you can imagine, you have lifetime. You also have Villa Sport and several other gyms, whether it's CrossFit, yoga, anything that you can imagine is within an easy reach, whether it's in Granite Bay or in nearby Roseville. That's right. One of the most popular things that you'll see as you're driving through Granite Bay, you will see a lot of cyclists on these roads here as um, it's a very popular recreation activity to do here. In addition, you can also access the American River Trail that is a whopping 45 and a half miles back and forth. This trail is pretty extensive. You can take it here from Folsom Lake and it'll take you all the way down to Old Town Sacramento. And this trail runs along the American River for an amazing scenic route. All right guys, as we promised, we're gonna be giving you the top three pros and cons of living in Granite Bay. But before we do that, make sure to like this video, subscribe and comment below. By doing so, it helps us build our channel so we can continue to make these videos to help you make the best decision on moving to the Sacramento region. Pro number one is going to be the high quality of life that Granite Bay offers. Granite Bay offers an exceptional standard of living with beautiful homes, well-maintained neighborhoods, and excellent public services. The community is safe, clean, and provides a peaceful suburban atmosphere. 
Number two for the pros is going to be those excellent schools that I mentioned earlier with the top rated Granite Bay High School being the number one public high school in the greater Sacramento region according to niche.com. You also have a plethora of extracurricular activities for the kids to participate in, making this a well-rounded place for families. And pro number three, as we already mentioned, is going to be the recreation. Granite Bay is surrounded by natural beauty, including Folsom Lake and several parks and trails. Residents have ample opportunities for outdoor activities such as hiking, biking, boating, golfing, contributing to a healthy and active lifestyle. Now let's move in to the cons. The most obvious one is going to be the high cost of living. It makes it quite the barrier to entry for many people wanting to get into the area, maybe for the schools, um, based on not only the home prices, many of these new communities have higher tax rates, Melrose, an HOA that could be almost to $1,000 a month in addition to the higher home costs. Also, you have PG&E for utilities that leads to overall higher cost of living with your household because that's going to be your electricity provider. They're extremely higher than the surrounding areas that are serviced by SMUD and City of Roseville. So you're going to want to make sure that your home has solar if you buy in Granite Bay. Now number two on our list of cons is going to be the limited public transportation. Granite Bay lacks extensive public transportation options, making it heavily car dependent. This can be an inconvenient for those who prefer not to drive or rely on public transit for their daily commute. But based on the affluency of this community, most people already have vehicles. Now speaking of affluency, that brings us to con number three. With the fluency in the area, we do get some feedback that that's going to kind of create maybe a more um, exclusive uh, feel. Maybe it's a little less diverse than other areas. Um, so just keep that in mind. We always recommend uh, you can use several online resources to see demographics. You can look up school demographics. And then we recommend coming to the areas, go to the parks, go to the neighborhoods, go to the schools, and really see what the makeup is and if that fits your family's needs. That's right, and we could definitely guide you guys to some of those points of interest to go to where you can check out the scenery for yourselves. All right, guys, now that wraps up our video on living in Granite Bay. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and always comment below if you want to know more about the Sacramento region. Now, we have a lot of great content on our channel, including those new home tours of those Granite Bay communities, but also maybe Granite Bay isn't the place for you. Maybe you want to explore other suburbs in the Sacramento region. So we have playlists on Roseville, Rockland, El Dorado Hills, Folsom, Elk Grow. So make sure you check out our playlist right here. We'll see you guys in the next video.